Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and today's lesson is a little different one. It's called Bella Posa, and I, I kind of had fun with it. I kind of messed up a little bit, but it, it has a kind of an insect looking, I don't know, I, I just like, it could just go in just different places in, on a tangle. You could just sneak it in there because it, it has such an artistic flair to it. So I'm going to do it on a gray bookmark, so hopefully I can add some um, white jelly roll to it. And we're going to start out, oh, this is by um, Sandy Bartholomew, and again, it's in her um, Brain Yoga edition of Tangle Cards. I kind of got stuck on those for a while because, you know, you just do. And um, But I, I love these little cards. They're a great little pack. And I'm going to just start out, and I think I'll start at the bottom and work my way to the top. And we're just going to start with, and I don't know what you would call that shape. Um, oh, uh, maybe a feather shape. And, um, and then we're going to come just below the feather shape and make another one and step down. So we're on the bottom side of the little feather shape and I'm going to do four more little shapes that come off of that um, the little feather shape. And then we're just going to put a line up through there. On my first one I put two and then on my others, I just put one. And um, you could put, and then I, you could do this next little step just about anywhere. But I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to just give it a little curly Q thing. And then I'm going to bring another one off of that. You could make those go in any direction that you wanted. Those are a little big. And maybe you even want to have one coming this way. And then I'm going to nestle my favorite little things. Just some tiny little orbs in these cracks. And then I am going to give mine some little orbs just down here at the bottom. I just think it needs a little bit more. And I'm going to do another one here on my bookmark. And this time I'm going to have it facing the other direction. So I have my kind of a feather shape. And I think it's good for your brain to go two different directions. So I have four. And then I'm going to draw my line up. And I start right in that end and bring it right up. So I have quite a bit of ink in that tip. Because I like that black, the way that looks, that black. And now I'm going to put my little um, curly cues or off of it and my little orbs and I found that I liked this one when I aura, put an aura around it. And I've told you that lately I've really gotten into the auras. And you notice I didn't do it before. I'm, I'm just going to fan out, then aura, excuse me, aura the back, and then come back in. So it kind of fans out that back side of <clears throat> that tangle. And then we can take 
our white jelly roll and add a little let's see if we can get this one this one does it's a little cool I don't know that doesn't want to work so let me while that's heating up I'm going to just put a border around the outside of my bookmark somewhere when I do a, a bookmark with very little tangles on it I can put a border and I can put just a little border around I'm doing a line and then two dots a line and two dots and this one looks a little bare so I could come in here and add you know maybe another small version so you, you can add just the small versions of our large version just to add something to it they kind of have a little moth or butterfly look okay let's see if my um, jelly roll I've warmed it up yeah it's the bits there we go so we've warmed up that little jelly roll and we can add some white accent to our little Bella Posey and this one kind of asks for a little I didn't want graphite I wanted white and I'm just going to take my white pencil and color in my whole little little um, Bella Posey fun tangle on the black it's I mean on the white it's fun because I colored those in in black great tangle thanks again Sandy great tangle enjoyed it so much thanks again for watching and have a great day